Hello everybody, so for today I am making this video to give you a very quick tutorial on some useful phrases that we can use in writing and sending business emails. So without further ado, let's begin with one useful phrase that we can use in sending business emails. I have here um, for opening message. So that is a very important part of our email to give reason or to state our purpose in sending that email. So one very useful phrase is just a quick note, da, 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 da. Or for example, just a quick note to inform you about the meeting tomorrow. So just a quick note, that is a very useful opening phrase to give you your reason or state your purpose in sending that email. Another um, useful phrase is just a short email to inform you about the meeting tomorrow. Another useful way for you to inform um, the receiver of your email about an information is the abbreviation FYI. You probably um, have heard that somewhere, but that is also a useful, um, not actually a phrase, but an abbreviation. FYI, which stands for, um, for your information which means um, this email is to let you know about something or about an information or about a business meeting or event going on. Another common situation that we may encounter in sending business emails is you know, sometimes we have to attach some files or documents together with our letter. So we can use um, I'm sending, um, for example, I'm sending um, a file or I'm sending a document as an attachment. So the word attachment is also useful right there. Yes, yeah, so Again. I am sending you the price list as an attachment. One of the most popular phrases that we also use in business email is keep me posted. Um, we can use this if we want to request an action from someone or if we want to request someone to give us an update or latest development on a certain project. So keep me posted alone can, can be understood that you want to receive some updates. We also have put off, that is a useful phrase as well to use in business emails. If, for example, you want to change some arrangements or plans, so you can use the phrase put off, which means to postpone. So, for example, in a sentence, you can write, um, Sorry, but we're going to put off the meeting till, till next week. Another phrase, you probably are familiar with this one. Um, we have feel free to get in touch. We can actually use that if we want to open our line or communication to the other person. You want him or her to um, get in touch with you if she or he needs more help. So for example, in a sentence, you can write, um, feel free to get in touch if you need more help or if you have more questions, please feel free to get in touch. All right, and now to close our email, we can use um, the most commonly um, used expression, which is, best regards yeah you, know, you can um, use that to just simply close your business letter however we also have um, a very uh what's this less formal expression which is bye for now all right so that's it guys hopefully that this tutorial is useful for you in improving or making your business emails um, clear and better. Thank you for watching.